We all know that the MI industry would be nothing without the retailers who sell the products. Thank you all. So we wanted to get a retailer's perspective on the industry and how they plan to spend their time at the NAMM show. Brian Burke sat down with Thomas Coletti, owner of the Music Zoo, to get his thoughts on these topics and much, much more. Here with Tommy Coletti, owner of the Music Zoo, which has a new location in Farmingdale, right down the street from uh, D'Addario's headquarters. And first, Tommy, tell me about the uh, the new business, why you moved, and how things are going there for you. I'd been looking for a place to move to for a while and just couldn't find the right location. And finally, the, the location in Farmingdale came up. And it's been great. We went from 6,000 square feet to 21,000 square feet, so everybody's got, got room for their coffee cup now. And, uh, <laughs> and a lot more guitars, which we have. And uh, we're making it happen. And we're great. It's great to be down the block from Dario too. They're like family. Right. And we're, uh, of course, we're here at NAMM. So uh, tell me, what are you looking for at the show? What are you hoping to check out? What are, what are some of your goals there as a retailer? You know, every year we, I go to NAMM with a different mindset. You know, like I feel like it's now the 26th NAMM I think I've done, or 26th year. Uh, and each, each year it's something new. In the beginning it was always looking for like the new, latest, greatest thing. And then sort of in the middle years it was c continuing to create these great relationships with our friends from all the vendors and stuff. And now I think I might be back to looking for like the new things again, you know, because we're selling a lot of different brands and it's always nice to see somebody new with some new guitar, a new pedal that we'd get excited about. So it's probably a little bit of everything. Okay, and you know, lastly, I, I can't let you go before I ask you about that cool guitar you're holding here, so. So this is an EVH uh, Eruption 78. <laughs> Um, EVH, Eddie Van Halen's company with Fender, they, they issued 78 of these guitars. Some of them NOS, which they consider new old stock, and then there's uh, some relict versions, and then there was eight of uh, the relict version that's an exact replica to the guitar that he played during the first, the, uh, recorded the first Van Halen record and then did the first tour. Um, and along with that, they're cool, or Eddie was cool enough to, I don't know if you guys can get that, but there's Ed's signature and the number seven. It's one of, it's one of eight, and this is number seven. Uh, and he plays Eruption on it, and you get the video of Eruption, and you, you, know, you can't put it on YouTube or anything like that. You have to keep it to yourself for collection purposes or whatever, and it's awesome. Um, I'm a big Van Halen fan, so for me, this was like a... Dare I say this came in and I, I kept it for myself, you know, which happens once in a while. Uh, so this was it. And it sounds great. It sounds, I mean, you know, it sounds like Ed. <laughs> Thomas Coletti for stopping by the studio to share his insight into the industry.